What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about some top of the line bike tech um, that you can get hold of at rather budget prices, especially when you compare it to the alternatives from some of the major brands out there. Machine was so kind to actually send some gadgets around a couple of weeks ago and today we're actually going to be looking at three of their yeah most exciting gadgets, at least in my opinion. So let's kick things off with the one item that really transferred the way how I ride my bike out there and um, yeah it would be pretty much the very first thing that I would recommend anybody um, who's asking me for their first gadget cycling upgrade um, it would be the first thing that I would recommend and it is a bike radar slash a bike radar light combination so adding a radar to my bike was a real game changer years ago. Unfortunately, um, yeah, upgrading to a radar was quite a significant expense back in the day, which is why I was particularly happy to see that Machine actually created their own bike light that comes with a radar as well. So what does a bike radar do, you might ask? Um, it actually, I mean, as the name kind of entails, it is a radar unit that uh, senses if there are objects approaching you from behind, especially cars might be most interesting when you're out on the bike and they give you a little warning out on your head unit letting you know that um, yeah somebody is approaching from behind this really helps me to stop looking constantly back seeing if there's somebody behind me especially when you're riding together with somebody side by side you're having a conversation it is kind of annoying having to constantly look back if you're not like blocking the street or if somebody's like sneaking up on you or if there's a car approaching you at high speeds while you can already see that there is somebody coming from from, uh, yeah, from across the road as well so that person won't be able to overtake so you might want to reconsider um, yeah, drifting slightly off to the right or to the left if you're in the UK. So yeah additionally to that the bike radar really gives me a lot of confidence whenever I have to take over anything if it's a person a car or another bike um, without really having to worry that much about that when I'm going to be turning around there's going to be a car potentially just overtaking me in the meantime because most of the time whenever I'm looking behind me unfortunately I'm always drifting a little bit into the lane um, I know that's something that you can train um, and something that I should but at the moment this is just the case so yeah with this bike radar I feel a lot more comfortable when overtaking so yeah, this unit is actually called the L508 and it already came out a while ago. But initially me and also some other YouTubers had a little bit of an issue with it because it was um, yeah, sending miss or ghost triggers. So basically warning you on your head unit that a car might be approaching while there was no car behind you. But a recent firmware upgrade to this unit, for me, I have to say, fixed all those issues. So I just took this light out recently on two longer rides and I think I only had one ghost trigger which is very much in line with what I was also experiencing on my uh, much more expensive Garmin radar unit so um, yeah now I think it is really something that I can uh, properly recommend so one small but actually pretty cool feature about this light in comparison to the competition is that of course while you're having all these nice blinking and animation modes you can also completely deactivate the light but keep the radar part of uh, the unit working so in case you find yourself forgetting about uh, charging this up the day before your ride you can actually run it in this mode and still make use of the radar functionality without having to worry that um, yeah battery is gonna run out after like five or ten kilometers into your ride so I think pretty useful feature. So let's talk about the next item on the list and it is a heart rate monitor but hear me out I mean I know that a heart rate monitor isn't really anything super exciting and there are lots of brands making heart rate monitors and Magine was actually not any different like they also made this one very generic heart rate monitor that could be coming from any other brand but the one thing with heart rate monitors is that while I actually love to track my heart rate while out on the ride I would say that I'm only wearing the chest strap one out of four or five rides that I do because most of the time I completely kit up and then on my way out I noticed that I forgot to put on my chest strap and you know how much effort it is to actually take all the layers off again to get your chest strap on so most of the time I actually don't bother to do it and uh, yeah just go out without the heart rate monitor even though I really wanted to have it. 
But now what Machine did with their H803 is create a heart rate monitor that actually wraps around your arm and not your chest. So even if you're fully kitted up and forgot about your heart rate monitor, it is very easy to put this one on onto your arm and uh, yeah, still have some solid heart rate tracking. And an additional nice feature about this is that it also has a vibration mode. So you can set up different alarms, for example, one that starts vibrating and letting you know in case you're going over a particular heart rate, um, just so that you can make sure to dial it back a little bit to get into a, yeah, a more healthy and safe zone. So yeah, since I'm having this, I'm pretty much tracking my heart rate on every ride out there. And um, yeah, it is very reliable. I also like the vibration function and it also comes with a built-in battery, which is nice. And it charges up magnetically with a charger that of course also comes in the box. So uh, yeah, I gotta say very, very cool piece of tech at an affordable price point as all of those products as well. But the next one might be the most interesting for you. So let's dive into it. The newest item on the list is actually the Magin C606 cycling computer, which has pretty much everything that you might want from a bike computer. It has a nice, very bright, colorful display. It has customizable pages, all the data fields that you might be looking for. Of course, it connects to uh, your Bluetooth and your AMP Plus devices. It has crazy good battery life, actually, and all of that at a very, very affordable price, especially when you compare it to uh, yeah, the major brand competition. So yeah, I use this on a couple of rides already. For me, it works like a breeze. I get all the data pages that I want. Um, it also comes with a nice app for your phone. So it's very easy to customize and set up those data pages as well. Also easy to connect your Strava there so that you get your automatic uploads to Strava once you finish your ride. And yeah, talking about data pages, there was one very particular setup that I really enjoy, especially when I'm out on a rather casual ride. And it is um, yeah something that I haven't seen on any other head unit so far and it is having the information of your radar unit actually in a little bit more detail. Normally radar units just show you an object approaching you mostly on the left hand side of uh, your head unit but here with this one I can actually set this up as pretty much covering half the screen and giving me detailed information in meters how close the object is to me at the moment which uh, yeah I find very useful and especially on those casual rides I have this in my focus together with my current speed and it's totally enough um, especially when I don't need to have a look at uh, yeah, my three second average power and so on and so forth. So, but of course, if I want it, it's just one swipe away. So um, yeah, it's all in view. And when it comes to navigation, of course, you can get your Strava or your Komoot or even custom maps that you set up in the app onto here. Um, it took me a little bit to figure out how this actually works because I mean, I'm not a person who reads a manual. So I'm sure if I would have read the manual, I would have understood it right away. So um, yeah, take this with a pinch of salt. But if I need to find something negative or slightly negative on here, it had to do with uh, how to get maps on here. But now that I figured it out, it's actually quite easy. So what you have to do is you just download the GPX file on your laptop and then you load it onto the head unit via your phone app. So yeah, I guess in the beginning it was just like user error of me not reading the manual. Now that I know how it works, it actually is quite simple. So what I normally do is I just download the GPX file on my laptop and I place it in my Google Drive or in my Dropbox, which I have on my phone as well. And then I just download it on here and open it in the app for the head unit. And then it magically shows up in there. So yeah, quite easy actually. You just have to know how it works. So it was me basically just being a little bit of an idiot uh, in the beginning, not reading the manual, I guess. So overall, you see that these days there is actually quite some exciting and affordable cycling tech out there if you're willing to yeah, open up your search horizon beyond the established Western brands. So I think definitely worth having a look at those products. So I use them together already now for the past couple of weeks and it was actually a breeze. I didn't really have any issues except the loading of the maps in the beginning. But as I said, that was more user error on my side. So I think uh, if you are looking for a budget kind of setup, definitely worth having a look at this machine lineup of uh, yeah, cycling gadgets. So yeah, this is going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out the channel quite a bit. And uh, if you have any questions in regards to any of those products, or you're actually using uh, one or some of those products and want to share your experiences, feel free to yeah, drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. So with that, as always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.